no, no, you're doing it all wrong. Good day, fellow moto vloggers. Uh, Bandit Nev. Not on Ruby. On a 2009 Kawasaki ER6. One of the fellas that does um, work experience wants me to um, see what it's like. So I'll take it out for a little run. It's uh, got good power straight off. It's uh, good. The uh, the throttle seems very very harsh uh, in the way of um, it's like it's got a uh, cruise control on it. Wise, excellent. Uh, the dash is good. Um, I can see the uh, the speedo very, very nicely. I like that. That's nice. It's certainly different. Um, not having a big screen, but it'll be interesting to see how much wind noise I get through the uh, the center because um, it's a different screen. I don't know if you can hear the uh, exhaust, but it's very loud. Um, Power-wise, it's, it's excellent. Excellent power-wise. Um, the seating position is very, very good. Um, it's a sit-up sort of a bike, which uh, I prefer, of course. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. You have to bear with me, folks, because I haven't ridden one of these before. The throttle is very, 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 very tight. I'm not sure why. I have to ask him. So we'll take it up here. Power-wise, it's excellent for a 650. Um, twin inline twin handling well that's not a problem uh, the uh, CF Moto NK it's uh, modeled off of this particular engine so yeah it's a pretty good uh, learn legal bike this one corners nicely yeah nothing, nothing wrong with the cornering We've got the power to get up the hills as well back brakes very good haven't tried the front brake yet um, nice gears the clutch is good no, no more gears the mirrors well too bad. Um, I thought it might be a bit of a problem with my uh, my coat on, my uh, thick thick coat. The exhaust is uh, well, certainly now it's there. Whether the microphone's picking it up, I'm not sure. Um, I'll. Uh, up on the screen uh, the chaps uh, YouTube channel um, if anyone wants to subscribe to him he's a, he's a reasonably new vlogger so to speak I am impressed with the power that's for sure for a 650 it's excellent
good going around corners and that. Very nice indeed. No, no snatching or anything like that. Uh, being a fuel injected, it's uh, quite a smooth uh, power band. Um, I don't know the bike, so I'm not going to race around. The only thing is the. Uh, for some reason the um, throttle, I mean I got my hand off it, it's, it's like it's on a uh, um, cruise control, that's a little bit sort of strange to me, but anyway, just go up here, we'll uh, see what it's like at 100 kilometres an hour on, on this road because we're allowed to do that. Front brake's very good. Couldn't, can't complain about the front brake. Um, it's, I've got both feet flat on the ground so there's no problem uh, with the height of the bike. I would even say uh, it'd be very good for um, shorter people than myself and I'm not a tall person. Hundred Ks an hour, no, no problem whatsoever. Not a problem whatsoever. I believe that uh, Rider NZ or Rider New Zealand's got one of these and uh, he rides it over there in New Zealand. So yeah. At least I could put the, this one on my repertoire of bikes I've ridden. And uh, would I get one? Yeah, yeah, I would. Because I'm very surprised that the, uh, well, how could I say it? The lack of uh, vibration for a twin is excellent. Really well balanced motor. Yeah, so that's a nice view over there, folks. Up in them there hills. I am uh, very impressed with the power. I know I keep saying it, but it's got uh, plenty of uh, get up and go. And cornering is not a problem. Comfort wise, again, very good. The seat's nice. The exhaust sounds nice. indicator or not but I'm in top gear now boom, boom, boom. But, uh, it's got a quite a nice dash it's got digital speedo it's got um, like a bar that goes up for your, rev your revs, that's nice, and it's not hard to see, so that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, it's going to be uh, certainly different to see what the, um, how much wind noise I get on this bike because it's more open than poor old Ruby with its tall screen. So continuing on. It's a fairly windy day too, so it's handling the wind quite well. Um, normally on a, on, a, on a light bike you get blown from side to side, this isn't too bad at all. That's another reason why I bought a big bike for windy days. So I don't get blown around as much. It's a green it's a green colour and he's put all um, 
well a sticker kit on it complete sticker kit all over the bike uh, which makes it look nice um, you put your phone here of course So he'd be happy to see it up on uh, on YouTube when I render it and uh, upload it onto YouTube. He's been wanting me to do this for a little while, but well, the weather hasn't been uh, that great, and uh, uh, been a bit warm and uncomfortable to ride at the, uh, of late. I haven't been able to go out and test it. The only thing, again, I can uh, complain about is the uh, throttle's a bit, well, a bit tight for my liking. Sort of, I don't know, there's no, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or what, I don't know, I'm not sure. Smooth corners nicely. Certainly one of the better bikes I've ridden. So Ben and Nev on the uh, 2009 Kawasaki ER6. Back from a test run. And back to the store. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, little tour of the uh, hills as well as a review of the ER6.